Welcome to the twelfth lecture on circles. So, in this lecture, we will uh, start a new topic called family of circles, which is similar to the topic of uh, family of straight lines. So, here we will basically talk of uh, writing general equations for all circles which satisfy a common property. For example, we can uh, write the equation of all possible circles which pass through any two given points or for example, the equation of all circles which pass through the intersection of two given circles. So, that is what is going to be the topic of uh, this lecture. So, let us start with the uh, with the first uh, scenario, where let us say that we have been given two circles <coughs> equations whose equations are s 1 equal to 0 and s 2 equal to 0. So, s 1 is this. So, s 1 is this second degree polynomial in x and y. and S 2 is this other second degree polynomial in x and y. So, this represents the first circle S 1 equal to 0 and this represents the second circle S 2 equal to 0. And let us say that these two circles intersect each other at two points P and Q. So, we are now interested in finding the equation of all those circles which pass through these two points of intersection. For example, one such circle could be this circle which I am drawing now, another circle could be something like this, yet another circle could be something like this. As you will soon realize, there are infinitely many circles which can be drawn, which will pass through both these points of intersection of these two given circles. But the objective here is to find a general equation or an equation which will have some parameter such that if we change that parameter, we should be able to get the equation of any such circle which passes through these two points. To do that, we will use the uh, concept of radical axis and uh, let us let, uh, do a little bit of uh, recollection on that. So, if we recollect for any two intersecting circles, if we recollect for any two intersecting circles, the radical axis was given by the unique straight line which joins the two points of intersection. So, in this case of s 1 equal to 0 and s 2 equal to 0, the radical axis would be this red straight line which passes through both p and q. So, this would be the radical axis of S 1 and S 2. But then suppose that we have a general circle S whose uh, equation is given by x square plus y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c equal to 0. So, we are asked to find the general equation of such circuits which pass through both these points. Now, the equation of this straight line or which is the radical axis of these two circles was simply given by s 1 minus s 2 equal to 0. So, if we subtract s 1 and s 2 and equate to 2 0, what we will get is 2 into g 1 minus g 2 into x plus 
टू इंटू एफ वन माइनस एफ टू इंटू वाई प्लस सी वन माइनस सी टू इक्वल जीरो सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ द रेडिकल एक्सिस बिटवीन दीज टू सर्किल्स Now clearly, if there is any other general circle given by this equation, which also passes through these two points, then it is clear that S and any such general circle S and the given circle S one will also intersect at P and Q. because p and q lies on s1 and we are considering all those circles s which pass through p and q so p and q must also lie on s and hence p and q the points p and q must be common to both s and s1 and therefore s and s1 must intersect at p and q and therefore the radical axis between the circles s equal to 0 and s1 equal to 0 is given by the straight line equation s minus s1 equal to 0 so the radical axis between these two circles will be Between any such circle, which also passes through PQ, and the circle S1 will be S minus S1 equal to zero. But this radical axis is also a straight line, which passes through P and Q. And the equation of this straight line will be S minus S1. So this minus this. So the equation of this uh, will be S minus S1 will will be. Two into g minus g one x plus <coughs> two into f minus f one y plus c minus c one equals zero. But then it is noted that the points P and Q lie on this straight line as well as this straight line. Also, between any two points P and Q, there is only one unique straight line. and hence this equation and this equation must be representing the same straight line so what we have so far is that 2g minus g1 into x plus 2f minus f1 into y plus c minus c1 equal to 0 so this equation which is the radical axis between s and s1 and this other straight line equation which is the radical axis between s1 and s2 so these two are nothing but the same straight line what that basically implies is that if we take this first equation and if we multiply it with some real valued real number q so since they are they are the same equation there must exist some real number q such that if we multiply this first equation by that q we must exactly get the second equation because they are nothing but the same straight line and therefore what must hold is that after we multiply this uh, first equation by q we get 2q g minus g1 into x plus 2q F minus F one into Y plus Q into C minus C one equals zero. So after multiplying with Q, we should exactly get this equation, which basically means that this and this should be exactly the same equation, coefficient by coefficient. And for that to happen, it must be true that G one minus G two must be equal to Q into G minus G one, F one minus F two must be equal to Q 
into f minus f 1 and c 1 minus c 2 must be equal to q into c minus c 1. Remember here g 1, g 2, f 1, f 2 and c 1, c 2 are all known. Now, in order to find the general equation, there must be some relation between g, f and c. for this general equation. So, this because this is representing the equation of all those circles which pass through both these points. So, let us see what is this uh, what properties do g, f and c satisfy. So, from here what we can see is that g will be equal to g 1 minus g 2 by q plus g 1. Similarly, f will be equal to f 1 minus f 2 by q plus f 1 and c will be equal to c 1 minus c 2 by q plus c 1. So, this is what we get. this can be simplified. So, this is what we get. So, now let us try to uh, if we go back to this general equation, we replace g f and c by these right hand sides. Then if we do that, we should be able to get the general equation where on the right hand side we will have q. So, this in this equation we will have this parameter q and by changing that parameter q we will get different circles from the family of circles. So, when we do that what we get is x square plus y square plus 2 x into g. So, instead of g we put this right hand side plus 2 y into f. So, instead of f we put this right hand side plus c. So, instead of c we put this expression plus 
equals 0. And then let us, uh, what we can do now is that we can write 1 plus x square as equal to 1 plus q by q into x square minus 1 by q into x square. So, this x square will replace with this with these two different terms and the same thing we will do with y square. And if we do that, we will get s to be 1 plus q by q into x square plus y square plus 2 g 1 x plus 2 f 1 y plus c 1 minus 1 by q times x square plus y square plus 2 g 2 x plus 2 f 2 y plus c 2 equals 0. Now, clearly if we go back to this slide, it is clear that q cannot be 0 because if q were to be 0, then this and this will not match, because clearly this is not uh, this is a non 0 equation, then this is also a non 0 equation, whereby what I mean is that uh, in this equation g 1 and g 2 are not equal f 1 and f 2. So, out of g 1, g 2, f 1 and f 2, c 1 and c 2, it is clear that g 1, uh, g 1 and g 2, the at least one of these two is non 0 at least. So, either g 1 minus g 2 is non 0 or f 1 minus f 2 is non 0. Both cannot be 0, because if both are 0, then the centers are the same, then the centers are the same in which case what we have is concentric circles and concentric circles will not intersect each other. If we, if we go back to the uh, first slide, we said that we are talking of two circles which intersect each other. So, clearly here uh, there is at least one of these coefficients which is non-zero and therefore, this is not a trivial equation and hence q will never be 0, because if we multiply this by q, we will get a 0 equation and then, then th there is no way that this and this can be the same equation, because if we multiply this by q equal to 0, if q were to be 0, then when we multiply it with this equation, we get a 0 equation, whereas this equation is not a 0 equation. So, this real valued q is not 0. And therefore, what uh, we can do is that we can multiply this entire equation with q. So, when we do that, we get rid of the denominator here. So, what we then get is that 1 plus q into s 1 minus s 2 is equal to 0. So, this is the uh, general form of the equation that we get that we get and we can also write it write this equation as 1 plus q into s 1 minus 1 by 1 plus q into s 2 equal to 0 and we can do this uh, because and further what we also see is that we can write this as plus equal 0 but this is nothing but this equation where k is minus 1 by 1 plus q
and since q is real, k is also real valued. Since q is not equal to 0, k is not equal to minus 1. So, therefore, this is the general equation of all those circles which pass through the point of intersection of the two circles S 1 equal to 0 and S 2 equal to 0, but this k should be not equal to minus 1. It can be any real value not equal to minus 1. Let us take a little example to illustrate this. So, let us say that we have two circles x square plus y square plus 2 x plus 4 y minus 4 equals 0. This has center minus 1 comma minus 2 and has a radius of 3. Let the other circle be s 2 equal to x square plus y square plus 6 y equals 0. This has center 0 comma minus 3 and radius equal to 3. As we see clearly, the distance between the two centers is equal to square root of 2. which is less than the sum of the radius, because the sum of the radius is 6 and this is clearly greater than the, because the absolute difference between the radius is 0. So, this is the situation, which basically means that the two circles are intersecting at two points. And now, we would like to find out the equation of all possible circles, all possible circles which pass through the two points of intersection of these two circles. So, the general equation of all those circles will be S 1 plus k times S 2 equal to 0, where k is real and k is not equal to minus 1. So, for this example, we will have s equal to, so s 1 is x square plus y square plus 2 x plus 4 y minus 4 plus k times s 2 is x square plus y square plus 6 y equals 0. Clearly, if we put k equal to 0, then we have s to be simply equal to s 1. And if we choose if as k tends to infinity, this equation will correspond to s 2 equal to 0 in the limit. So, this can be further refined, you know, this can be further uh, written as uh, 1 plus k x square plus 1 plus k y square plus 2 x plus 4 plus 6 k into y minus 4 equals 0. So, this is the general equation of all such circles. We just have to keep changing the value of k and we will get a different circle each time, but we must make sure that k is not equal to minus 1, because if k is equal to minus 1, then 
the coefficient of s square and y square are 0 and therefore, with k equal to minus 1 what we are going to get is simply s 1 minus s 2 equal to 0 which is nothing but the equation of a straight line which is the radical axis of s 1 and s 2 and that will not be the circle the equation of a circle that is why we have said that k must not be equal to minus 1. So, that was the uh, first type of family of circles. Another type of family of circles is let us say if we are given a circle s prime equal to 0. So, let that be given by this equation. And let us say we have a straight line L which is given by this equation. So, these two are given to us and let us say that these two this straight line and this circle intersect at two points or they could even be touching at just one point. And then we are interested in the equation of all those circles which pass through this point of intersection which pass through this point of intersection of this given circle s prime and this straight line the given straight line L. Now, it is clear that if we have any other circle. So, let us say we have any other circle which also passes through these two points of intersection, then it is clear that the radical axis. So, let this be the general circle s equal to 0, then it is clear that the radical axis between this circle s and the given circle s prime must be this straight line. So, the radical axis between s equal to 0 and s prime equal to 0 must be l equal to 0. This is because the straight line L joins these two points of intersection of. So, this the straight line intersects the given circle S prime at these two points P and Q. Now, if we have any other circle S equal to 0, which also passes through these two points then it is clear that the straight line joining these two points has to be the radical axis between s equal to 0 and s prime equal to 0. But since there is always only a unique line joining two points, this straight line must nothing but be the equation of this straight line must be nothing but the this equation. the radical axis between s equal to 0 and s prime equal to 0 is given by s minus s prime equal to 0. That is, so let us say our general circle has this equation then s minus s prime will give this equation but then this equation must be nothing but this equation of the straight line l which is
Now, since these two equations must be the same, there must exist a q not equal to 0, such that if we multiply this straight line equation by this q, we must exactly get the equation for s minus s prime, which is this, because we have argued that these two must represent the same straight line. So, when we multiply this by q, we get and now we can equate term by term or basically coefficient by coefficient, because this equation and this equation are identical and therefore, q must be such that m q must be equal to 2 times g minus g prime, n q must be equal to 2 times f minus f prime and p q must be equal to c minus c prime. Then from these three equations, from this equation we get 2 g equal to 2 g prime plus m q. From here we get 2 f equal to 2 f prime plus n q and from here we get c equal to c prime plus p q. Now, going back to the general equation of the family of circles, we substitute these expressions for 2 g, 2 f and c in this equation and we get s equal to x square plus y square plus instead of 2 g we write 2 g prime plus m q into x plus 2 f prime plus n q into y plus c prime plus p q equals 0. And then uh, we uh, if we separate out the terms, we can write this expression as x square plus y square plus 2 g prime x plus 2 f prime y plus c prime plus q into m x plus n y plus p equals 0. But note that this is nothing but s prime, this is the polynomial s prime and this is the first degree polynomial L and therefore, the general equation for all, all such circles becomes s prime plus q L equals 0. So, s is equal to s prime plus q l equals 0. So, as we change this q, so q is real valued here, as we change this q, we get different circles from this family of circles, which will pass through these two points p and q, where p and q were the points of intersection of the given circle s prime with the given straight line L. Another uh, family of circles uh, can be computed, suppose if we have two given points x 1 y 1 and x 2 y 2 and it is said that we would like to find out the equation of all those circles or the general equation of all those circles which pass through these two points. So, as long as these two points are not the same, there are infinitely many circles which will pass through both these two points. 
how do we find the general equation of all these circles. So, to do that what we uh, can do is we can consider the following circle. So, we join these two points and we find the midpoint of this line segment and the coordinates of the midpoint will be x 1 plus x 2 by 2 and y 1 plus y 2 by 2 and we construct a circle with radius equal to half the length of this line segment. Clearly, that circle will touch or will go th through both these two points. So, let the points be p and q. So, from p and q we get another we, we get the equation of this circle. So, we will denote this uh, we can easily uh, compute the equation of the circle and we will denote this circle by let us say s prime. So, uh, this circle will simply be given by the equation x minus center whole x coordinate of the center x minus x coordinate of the center whole square plus y minus y coordinate of the center the whole square must be equal to the square radius. Now, square radius is one fourth of the square diameter and the square diameter is nothing but the square distance between the points p and q which is given by x 1 minus x 2 whole square plus y 1 minus y 2 whole square. So, this is simply the so, if we bring this term onto this side we will have a minus here and then equal to 0. So, this square plus this square minus this thing equal to 0. So, this is the equation of this circle. Clearly, this the, this the moment we define the moment we are given these two points s prime is automatically defined. And we also see that if we see this let us extend this uh, straight line joining p and q. So, the equation of this line let us say we will represent it with l we will say that the equation of this straight line is l equal to 0 and that straight line equation is also easy to find out because uh, so this straight line equation will be given will be given by y minus y 1 by x minus x 1 is equal to y 1 minus y 2 by x 1 minus x 2 and uh, which can be simplified to x minus x 1 into y 1 minus y 2 plus y minus y 1 into x 2 minus x 1 equals 0. So, let us say this is our L. So, L so L is equal to this single degree polynomial in x and y and that is equal to 0. So, now what we have is we have a circle s prime equal to 0, we have a straight line l equal to 0 and we know that this straight line and this circle intersect at these two points. So, essentially what we have here is that we are trying to find the equation of all those circles, the general equation of all those circles which pass through the point of intersection of this circle s prime equal to 0 and this straight line l equal to 0, because this circle s prime equal to 0 by design will intersect this straight line at exactly these two points p and q that were given to us. This is because of the manner in which we have constructed this circle s prime. And since we are trying to find the general equation of all those circles which pass through p and q it is the same as finding the general equation of all those circles 
which pass through the point of intersection of S prime equal to 0 and the straight line L equal to 0. And this is something that we have already done uh, just in the previous slide, where we had said that the general equation for all such circles is given by S prime plus k L equal to 0, where k is real value. So, this is how we can get the. So, now we just have to replace this S prime with this, uh, this uh, left hand side this equation. So, this will basically become x minus x 1 plus x 2 by 2 whole square plus y minus y 1 plus y 2 by 2 whole square minus x 1 minus x 2 whole square plus y 1 minus y 2 whole square by 4. So, this thing plus k times this expression So, k times this thing plus this uh, this polynomial for s prime. So, the polynomial for s prime is this one plus k times the single degree polynomial for the straight line L. So, this plus k times this must equal to must be equal to 0. So, this is the equation of the all such circles which will pass through these two given points x 1 y 1 and x 2 y 2 and k is real valued. So, we can keep changing k and we can keep on getting different different circles. Let us take this example to illustrate the what we just uh, discussed. So, let us say we have two points p which is 2 comma 0 and another point q which is 6 comma minus 4 and we would like to find the general equation of all those circles which pass through these two points. This, this is the straight line joining these two points. The midpoint is this point O whose coordinates are 4 comma minus 2. Clearly, this uh, the distance O p is equal to square root of 8 and therefore, if we draw a circle with center as O, a radius as square root of 8. So, that circle will be something like this and clearly that these two points will lie on that circle, because we have chosen the radius to be equal to root 8, which is half of this length and we have chosen the center of this line segment to be the, the midpoint of this line segment to be the center of that circle. So, clearly P and Q will lie at diametrically opposite ends of this on this circle. So, P Q will be a diameter and the equation of this circle S prime will be given by x minus 4 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square is the square of the radius which is 8. So, this is the equation of the this circle which is can be simplified to sorry. 
So, this is the equation of the circle, but this can be simplified to s written as it can be written as s prime equal to x minus 4 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square minus 8 equals 0 that is x square plus y square minus 8 y plus x square plus y square minus 8 x plus 4 y plus 12 equals 0. So, this is the equation of the this circle. Similarly, it is not very difficult to write them down the equation of this straight line joining P and Q. The equation of this straight line joining the two points P and Q <coughs> will be given by y minus 0 divided by x minus 2 equals which is minus 1 and therefore, this equation of this straight line is x plus y minus 2 equals 0. So, this straight line will be given by L equal to x plus y minus 2 equals to 0. And now, since we know that this circle S prime and this straight line L by design they will intersect at these two points. So, we are essentially trying to find out the family or the, the equation of all those circles of the family of circles which pass through the point of intersection of this circle S prime equal to 0 and the straight line L equal to 0, which is given by this general equation S equal to S prime plus k L equal to 0, which if we substitute the polynomials for S prime and L over here, we get x square plus y square plus k minus 8 x plus k plus 4 y plus 12 minus 2 k equals 0. So, this is the general equation of the of all such circles that will pass through both these points and one can check it also. So, so this is the general equation that we have found out for all those circles which will pass through the points p is 2 comma 0 and q 6 comma minus 4. So, clearly this is an equation of a circle because there is no coefficient of x times y, the coefficient of x y is 0 and the coefficient of s square and y square are the same. Further g square plus f square minus c is k minus 8 whole square by 4 plus k plus 4 whole square by 4 minus 12 minus 2 k and which comes out to 2 k square minus 8 k plus 80 minus 48 plus 8 k divided by 4, which is equal to 2 k square plus 32 by 4, which is strictly greater than 0. So, clearly this has to be the equation of some circle. 
Now, let us also see whether these two points indeed lie on this circle. So, if we replace to check that this point 2 comma 0 lies on the circle, we will put x equal to 2 y equal to 0 on the left hand side and see whether this polynomial equation with x equal to 2 and y equal to 0 whether it evaluates to 0 or not. So, the value of this polynomial at the value of this polynomial with x equal to 2 and y equal to 0 will be 4 plus 0 plus k minus 8 times 2 plus 12 minus 2 k which will be equal to 4 plus 2 k minus 16 plus 12 minus 2 k. So, this cancels and 4 plus 12 is 16 minus 16 is 0. So, indeed the left hand side uh, basically this polynomial evaluates to 0 which means that this point does lie on this circle s equal to 0 which means that all no matter what value of k we choose no matter what value of k we choose we get some circle and that circle will pass through this point 2 comma 0 and the, and the similar thing we will get if we test uh, this equation with for this point 6 comma minus 4. So, with that we will end this lecture. In the next lecture we will also take uh, one more remaining case uh, where we will try to find the family of circles and then we will try to solve uh, some challenging problems on uh, uh, family of circles uh, from previous exams. Thank you.